Now we are building a small uh, second-hand boutique for a brand hat. So if you all are welcome to come and buy some beautiful stuff. We have a lot of clothes. And you have some weapon? Uh, some weapon? <laughs> because I'm a real woman. <laughs> a real woman. From Latin America. <laughs> so I'm dangerous. <laughs> Yvonne, Yvonne and Miriam are dangerous women. And very handy. Yeah, so ones. in Braveheart we Can are I? making a second hand shop. So you can come and buy cheap clothes, nice ones. Okay, thanks. Yeah, Thank you. Bye. Bye. We have many brave women in Braveheart Ministries in Norway, in Uganda, in Zambia and in Iraq and uh, in other countries waiting. And there are many of you volunteers who are traveling with us, who are praying, fighting for us and even sacrificing your money. So. God bless you, brave women and men. Um, many women put themselves down because of the culture, uh, the tradition is putting them down, or even men uh, might be putting women down, treating them as less valuable. But that is not right. Um, in the Bible, in Galatians 3, it says, for as many of you as were baptized into Christ, you have put on Christ. And you are all sons of God through the faith in Jesus Christ. Okay, all. Um, there is neither Jew nor Greek. So it doesn't matter the nationality or the origin. Hmm? There is neither slave nor free. It doesn't matter your status. There is neither male nor female. We are the same. Um, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. You're all one in Christ Jesus. So in the kingdom, there is no difference between the origin, the nationality, the status or the gender. Um, there is no difference. We are all one, 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 one. We are all one in Christ. So this is what I want to encourage you. Women, lift up your head. Uh, use your talent. Go do what God has called you to do. Be who you truly are. And men, lift up your head. <laughs> Uh, lift up your butt from the sofa, go and serve Christ, follow Jesus into all the world and do what he has put inside of you, the dream, the calling, do it bravely. Uh, don't let the dream sleep in you. Go do what God has created you to do. Go and do what you're here for. Go and do what you're here for. That's my encouragement. And uh, let's stand together. There is no difference. There is no Jew nor Greek. There is... Um, no slave nor free, there is no women uh, or men, no male or female in the kingdom of God. We are all one because it is not us, it is not our background, it's not our money. Listen, it's not your money that qualifies you, it is Christ, and He is rich enough for everyone who calls upon Him, He makes us equal. Uh, many people uh, preach and say that the ground uh, at the feet of the cross is a level ground. We are all the same. It cannot help you if you are rich. It cannot help you if you are poor. It cannot help you if you do, did many good deeds or you did many criminal or bad deeds. It cannot help you. We are all made one and equal at the cross. Because of Jesus, he is the one who qualifies us. So he is our pride. And he is our only ticket to heaven. And he is our only, I don't know, pride. We can just brag about uh, what he is giving us, who he is. Um, yeah. So uh, let's be humble to each other. Let us serve each other like he taught us. Let us bow down. Let us wash the feet of each other. Let us really serve each other and value 
the other person more than ourselves. This is the biblical way of treating each other. Um, Jesus says that do to the other person as you would want him or her to do towards you, even if they don't do it. Don't wait for them to do it. You start. You do towards them as you would wish that they did towards you. Esteem the other person higher than yourself. Just serve, serve, love. This is the radical love of Jesus that changes the world. He is the one who says, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you and do good to them. Do good to them. Do good to all. In Braveheart, we really promote extreme kindness um, and we really believe what the Word of God says in Roman 12, uh, 21. Romans 12, 21. It says, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil by good. Overcome evil with good. And when God says it, it is possible. So go overcome evil with good. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for your word that is alive and active. And I ask that these words now will change the hearts of those who are watching. Change us, Lord. Change us, Lord. We need to be changed. And we ask, Lord, uh, for hum humility inside of our hearts. Teach us to be servants. Teach us your love. Fill us, Lord, with your love so that we can love people who don't love us. Lord, fill us with your love. Change us and let us see people through your eyes and treat them accordingly. Make us, make us new so that we can change the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. Yes, so... Welcome to our Braveheart uh, secondhand store and uh, go follow Jesus. Be brave and I'll see you in a new video tomorrow. You're not alone.